Top 10 Fastest Cars in the World in 2020 There are many ways to judge how fast a car is. Acceleration is important. Being able to jump from 0 to 60 mph quickly is probably the most realistic performance benchmark, since we are actually able to drive 60 mph on most highways. But there are no better ultimate ranking factor than top speed the most unrealistic, no holds barred. Balls to the wall stat a supercar can have. Even though we'll probably never be able to actually achieve these speeds, top speed is the one that deserves the most bragging rights. It takes huge amounts of engineering genius to produce hunks of metal and carbon fiber that can safely propel themselves this quickly down a strip of pavement without falling apart. So here we are, the list of the top 10 fastest production cars in the world. Rank by top speed. All the cars you would expect are on the list, ranked from fastest to slowest though calling any of these hyper cars slow is blasphemy. And to clarify, yes, all of these cars are street legal. We start the list with the king of fast. Number 1. Koenigsegg Gera RS. Top speed, 277.87 mph power, 1341 horsepower. Just try and tell me that not one mean looking car. The Koenigsegg Gera RS is a hybrid of sorts. No, not that kind of hybrid. It and a Gera are at heart, with some of the advanced tech of the 1. 1 and some of the Ajera S sprinkled in for good measure. There were only 25 examples of the Ajera RS produced. Powered by a 5.0 liter twin turbo V8, the normal Ajera RS only produces 1,160 horsepower on regular pumped gasoline, mind you, but 11 lucky owners are able to theoretically hit this top speed due to checking the 1MW special package when ordering theirs which increases the ponies to 1,341. Koenigsegg said goodbye to the Ajera in mid-2018 with the final two examples of the car, named Thor and Veer. Number 2. Hennessy Venom GT Top Speed 270.49 mph power, 1,244 horsepower. The supercar from Texas-based car tuner made manufacturer Hennessy is an impressive machine, to say the least. Sporting a twin-turbo 7.0-liter V8 producing a mass of 1,244 horsepower, the Venom GT beat a world record set by the Koenigsegg Gera R as being the fastest accelerating production car in the world when it did a run from 0-300 km per hour in 13.63 seconds. The crazy fast not to be outdone by the French, Hennessy Venom GT broke the Veyron top speed at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. Florida back in early 2014. This beast can go 0-100 mph in 5.6 seconds a world record, and 200 mph from a stop in only 14.51 seconds also a world record. Hennessy also claims the Venom GT can reach a top speed of 278 mph if given a bit more room to do it. Let hope they find a track long enough. Number 3. Bugatti Chiron Top Speed, 261 mph power, 1,479 horsepower. Bugatti, never one to back down from a top speed fight, built the Chiron as a successor to the already world record-breaking Veyron Super Sport below. The Chiron carries over the same 8.0-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine as the Veyron 
but modified to produce quite a bit more power and a smoother power band. But here the really interesting part. The top speed of the Bugatti Chiron 261 mph is electronically limited due to safety limitations. Simply put, nobody built a tire that can handle speeds in excess of 280 mph. Michelin says they e working on it, but until tire tech can catch up, don't expect top speeds to go much past 280 mph. So, how fast can the Chiron go? Nobody knows for sure or dares to try. But the speedometer goes up to 500 km per hour about 311 mph. Since the much less powerful Veyron SS below hit over 268 mph with the speed limiter removed. We going to just fudge it a little bit and pretend the Chiron is officially faster because we can. That why think Bugatti just sitting around waiting think again. They recently revealed the Chiron Sport, and it even better. Let hope they do the next top speed run with this bad boy. Number 4. Bugatti Veyron Super Sport Top Speed, 267.81 mph Power, 1200 horsepower. Not to let SSC Ultimate Aero Supercar keep Bugatti in second place for long, the French supercar company slapped bigger turbos and intercoolers on their previous world record holding Veyron to produce a seriously impressive 1,200 horsepower. The Veyron SS still houses the same 8.0 liter quad turbocharged W16 engine, but now produces 200 more horsepower to handle the extra speed and power. Bugatti also had to revise the chassis and suspension. Only 30 Veyron Super Sport models were produced. Electronically limited to 258 mph for the production cars, Guinness Book of World Records went ahead and said even though the speed limiter was removed, the top speed was still valid. I just wish they would have let the Chiron above do the same. <laughs> Number 5. SSC Ultimate Aero TT Top Speed, 256.18 mph Power, 1183 horsepower. Boutique supercar maker Shelby Supercars SSC unleashed the Ultimate Aero in 2007, destroying the more expensive Bugatti Veyron top speed record. The car in question was a 2007 model since then. SSC has upgraded the Aero to include an all-new twin-turbo V8 engine, producing 1,287 horsepower, giving the car a theoretical top speed of 290 mph. Nope, that not a typo. It also theoretical. SSC says given a long enough road, they could get the car up to 270 mph. That would break the Veyron record again. So let's see if they ever get around to it. Number 6. Koenigsegg CCXR. Top speed, 249 mph power. 1,004 horsepower. The Koenigsegg CCXR is a more eco-friendly version of the CCX, powered by the same 4.7-liter twin supercharged V8 engine as the CCX. The engine was modified to run on E85 gasoline, bringing the power output up from 795 to a whopping 1,004 horsepower. Although the Koenigsegg CCR broke the top speed record in 2005 on a totally unfair circular track, the updated CCXR has a better engine, aerodynamics, and, well, pretty much everything else. I love to see the Swedish company get this out on the VW test track, which is the same track on which the Veyron was tested in a straight line, not a circle. We glad to see our favorite Swedish car brand Sari Volvo. 
taking up two spots on this list. Number 7. Sally Ness 7 Twin Turbo Top Speed, 248 MPH Power, 750 Horsepower Sally first car not based on an existing model, the S7 supercar grabbed a lot of attention when it was released in 2000. An updated Twin Turbo model followed shortly afterward providing 750 horsepower and a 248 mph top speed. Salian offers a competition package increasing power to 1000 horsepower, which brings the top speed up to a rumored 260 mph. Interest has dropped for the S7, but if they can come back and claim a top speed close to Bugatti and SSC, we might see some more of Salian supercar in the future. There was the 80 retro cool Salian S5 S Raptor concept they came out with in 2008, but that never saw the light of day. Number 8. McLaren F1 Top Speed 240.14 power, 618 horsepower. The McLaren F1 was first produced in 1993, and it's still one of the fastest cars in the world. It also happens to be the first car on this list I would purchase if I had the cash. Produced from 1993 to 1998, the F1 still sells for well over $1 million each and I have a feeling it will only appreciate over the years. The amount of firsts that McLaren introduced to road cars via the F1 is far too long to list in this article, but suffice it to say, the British company blew everyone else out of water at the time, and it's still one of the most sought-after cars in the world. With only 64 versions of the road car ever made, only a lucky few will ever have the honor of owning or even driving one. This is a timeless car and will remain on the all-time greatest car list for decades to come. Even though it no longer the fastest production car in the world, it's still the fastest naturally aspirated road car in the world, sporting a special BMW sourced 6.1 liter V12 surrounded by freaking gold, BTW capable of biting your head off allegedly. Number 9. Pagani Hoira Top Speed, 238 mph power, 720 horsepower. The Pagani Zonda, even since I first laid eyes on it, has been one of my favorite cars of all time. Now, while I'm not a huge fan of the Hoira styling or name when compared to the Zonda, I have to admit it a hell of a car. 720 horsepower from the Hoira AMG sourced 6.0 liter twin turbo V12 engine, made it to a 7 speed single clutch sequential gearbox lets the car hit 60 mph from a stop in only 2.8 seconds, up to a top speed of 238 mph. <laughs> Number 10. Ferrari Enzo. Top speed, 221 mph power, 651 horsepower. Another one of the few naturally aspirated cars on this list, the Ferrari Enzo is powered by a 6.0 liter V12 producing 651 horsepower. Only 399 Enzos were built for sale, and as usual. All were sold to existing customers via invitation before anyone else even heard about the car. There was one more Enzo built number 400 and donated to the Vatican for charity. Interestingly, the Enzo successor the La Ferrari is only able to hit an approximately similar top speed despite begin significantly more powerful. What it is, however, is much quicker. We talking 0-62 mph times of 2.4 seconds, 
compared to the Enzo 3.2 which is still ridiculously fast. If you enjoyed our video, please do share with your friends and colleagues on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp.